Hello, we are KJ and Sarah, and we have been working as digital nomads in Playa del Carmen, Mexico for the last month. We've been getting so many questions about our favorite adventures and our favorite spots, so we put together this comprehensive guide of our top eight spots. Let's get started. Starting off with number eight, rooftop pools. It seems kind of silly to put in a top eight video, but we thought it deserved a spot because of how much we use the one at our Airbnb in Playa del Carmen. We knew we had to book an Airbnb with this stunning view of the buildings and ocean. It was the most convenient way to get outside since it was only a 15 second elevator ride to the top of our building. We spent mornings watching the sunrise, taking in the ocean breeze, goofing around in the pool, and even swimming some laps. And seeing some amazing sunsets after we finished the workday was even better. Having a pool was such a great alternative to walking to the beach, especially when the seaweed started to get really bad washing up onto the shores. We highly encourage you to spend a little extra money on a hotel or Airbnb with a rooftop pool, but at most hotels, you can also buy a day pass to enjoy the stunning views from a rooftop pool and maybe find a party along the way. All that being said, we are now on to number seven. All throughout Playa del Carmen and Cozumel, there are a ton of amazing beach clubs that you can go to. The activities at each range from relaxing on the beach and snorkeling to jet skis, paddle boards, and the ocean water parks. There is truly a beach club for everyone. Our two personal favorites were both on Cozumel. Money Bar Beach Club has the best snorkeling we've ever seen. The water is absolutely magical and the fish are spectacular in person. They literally swim around us as you were moving through the water, probably because some tour guides feed them to entice tourists. We did not do that, nor do we condone it. Aside from snorkeling, Money Bar has some delicious food and such a relaxing laid back atmosphere. And it's completely free to go there, meaning there's no upfront cost to be there, unlike other beach clubs. We just brought our own snorkeling gear, but you can also rent it there if you need to. Obviously you have to pay for food and drinks, but the prices weren't too expensive and it was delicious. Our next favorite beach club is Playa Mia Beach Club. This beach club is no joke when it comes to things to do. Playa Mia has some element of laid back, relaxing beach vibes, but if you're looking for something with a little more spice than just sitting in the sun snorkeling, this is the spot for you. We went for an afternoon as the last stop during one of our tours and it was so much fun. Playa Mia has an inflatable obstacle course on the ocean, so we spent most of our afternoon just trying to maneuver it. You can also get jet skis, water bicycles, and paddle boards, but we opted for trying to stay on the inflatable obstacle course for as long as possible. There's normally a fee to get in here with a minimum of $30 per person with some food and activities included, or $60 for an unlimited option. The ticket we bought for our catamaran tour covered this cost, but we think it could definitely be worth paying for if you want to spend the entire day there. Now moving on to number six, Fifth Avenue in downtown Playa del Carmen. Now it's time for number six, La Quinta Avenida or Fifth Avenue, which is a super lively pedestrian street that runs parallel to the beach just one avenue back. It is filled with so many restaurants, it may be hard to decide where to eat, but most of the food is absolutely delicious. From authentic local foods to more tourist-centric restaurants, there is something on Fifth Ave for everyone. There are also so many different kinds of stores if you like to shop, but fair warning, there are a lot of vendors trying to sell you things or get you to eat at their restaurant. A simple no thank you usually lets them know that you're not interested and they won't bother you after that. <laughs> no, gracias. But vendors are super prevalent near the ferry terminal where different groups are trying to sell you tours or ferry tickets. Just know that it is usually cheaper to buy a tour online or to buy the ferry tickets from the actual booth. We stayed a few blocks away from La Quinta Avenida and always found it booming with activity from the afternoon until late at night. And staying near Fifth Avenue will definitely make your experience a great one in Playa del Carmen. So absolutely add it to your list. With that being said, we are going a little further from Playa del Carmen in number five. Number five on our top things to do in Playa del Carmen is to take a tour of Chichen Itza. If you're unfamiliar with it, it's a new wonder of the world and an amazing architectural feat of the Mayan Empire. It was built towards the end of the Mayan Empire and is the result of a mixing of many cultures. It was built with so much thought regarding the calendar, the human body, the seasons, and astrology. It was a center for religion, ball games, and ceremonies. We did a private tour from Playa del Carmen, which included transportation for the two and a half hour drive, tickets into Chichen Itza, a guided tour, lunch, and cooling off in a cenote. There were also cheaper tours that involved huge bus, but we were trying to avoid the crowds by getting there right at 8 a.m. We had an amazing experience learning about the Mayan culture and the history of Chichen Itza, so we would highly recommend the trek if you have time. However, if you're looking for an alternative, check out the Tulum ruins, which are much closer. Okay, I wanna take a quick minute here to talk about the best shirts for traveling. If you're somebody like me who enjoys making packing as easy as possible and not having to worry about what to put in your suitcase, you need to check out Cuts Clothing. I have been wearing Cuts for over a year now on all of our travels and can confidently say 
say they are super comfortable, lightweight, and make packing so much easier because of their simple, solid colors. Cuts has multiple styles of shirts, my personal favorite being the Curve Crew Hem t-shirt, and they just came out with shorts and a bathing suit that I just got my hands on. And admittedly, the weather here in Massachusetts is just starting to warm up. I didn't have the bathing suit in Mexico, but I can confidently say I will be bringing it along on all of our summer adventures. As you can see, I'm wearing one here. It's just on my body pretty much 90% of the time, and I absolutely love these shirts. If you want to try out cuts and make your travel clothing experience better, use code KJ and Sarah at checkout or use the link in the description below. Okay, thanks. Back to the countdown. Moving on to number four is going on a catamaran tour. We did a five hour day trip from Cozumel and it was so much fun. Just being on the beautiful blue water all day made us so happy. The tours online range from $60 to $120 per person. After two reservations were canceled, we finally found a table at the ferry terminal in Cozumel and booked a tour at $75 per person. Overall, we made three stops. The first stop was at a snorkeling reef where we jumped off the boat. The second snorkeling spot was our favorite, Money Bar. Due to the large Group, life jackets were required, but you didn't need to blow it up if you were a quote expert. Once we got back on the boat, the party started. The music was cranked up and the dancing began. The drinks were also included and they were serving beer, margaritas, and rum punches. Our final stop was at Playa Mia Beach Club, which was an absolute blast. Lunch was included and even more drinks, but the highlight was completing the obstacle course on the water and jumping on the trampoline. Climbing up different obstacles, scooting across inflatable rods, and going down the slide made us feel like kids again. I don't think we even stopped laughing the whole time. We loved every catamaran experience so far and this was no different. Our number three thing you have to do near Cancun is go to Cozumel and rent a scooter for the day if you're up for it. Driving around the island like a local is one of the best ways to experience everything this third largest island in Mexico has to offer. Once you get outside of downtown Cozumel, the roads become single lane and much more remote. Head south to enjoy pristine waters at places like Money Bar Beach Club and stop for lunch at Playa Palancar to get a delicious plate of fresh fruit. This was actually the first time Sarah and I had papaya and we think it may be our new favorite fruit. After lunch, keep heading south before eventually heading back north on the east side of the island. The east side of the island has what feels like an untouched coastline of magnificently blue water and some of the softest sand we have ever set foot on. Be aware though, this side of the island sometimes has harsher currents in the ocean and much rougher waves. After riding up the east side of the island, head west across the island to get back to downtown. And be sure to keep an eye on your clock because you don't want to be late for your ferry and miss it like we did. Cozumel has so much to offer and if you want to see a ton of the island without going on a proper tour, this is the best way to do so. With all that being said, we're moving on to number two. Number two is an important one because tons of people come to Playa del Carmen and Cozumel every year because it has some of the best scuba diving and snorkeling. It is located right off of the second largest barrier reef system, the Mesoamerican Reef. It was honestly the best snorkeling either of us have done and we've been to a few islands. The water is so warm and so clear all year round, 80 degrees Fahrenheit, so you're able to hang out in the water for a while and see so many different kinds of fish, coral and other marine life like starfish and stingrays. There are plenty of tours that go to the best reefs or you can rent a scooter and go on your own. Remember, money bar. It was the best spot and right off the coast so you could swim right out. We also did a snorkeling tour that went to three different spots, Palancar Reef, Columbia Reef and El Cielo. It wasn't our favorite experience but that could have just been the vibe from the guy that day since it was a bit rushed. We highly recommend going to El Cielo, which means heaven in Spanish, to see the beautiful blue waters and incredible marine life. However, that is pretty much it and the other snorkeling spots are best for seeing the reefs and all the fish. Also, make sure to wear a cover up or get reef safe sunscreen because regular sunscreen is not allowed as it ruins the reef. And we're all here to protect the planet. We only have one. Let's do our part to keep these amazing oceans safe. Coming in at the number one thing to do near Cancun and Playa del Carmen is going on a cenote tour. If you don't know what a cenote is, they are sinkholes formed in limestone all throughout the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. These sinkholes are freshwater sources that connect underground rivers and were used by the ancient Maya people for drinking water and sometimes ritual sacrifice. Cenotes come in many different shapes and sizes, but usually they will be partially underground, fully underground, or fully open. We were lucky enough on our tour to get the experience of one of each. For our tour, we opted for the private option, so it was just us and our guide. We highly recommend doing a private cenote tour as we started early in the morning and got to the first cenote right as it opened at 8 a.m. We were the only ones there for about 20 minutes and our our guide was able to show us so much that a big group wouldn't be able to do, including bringing us through small caverns in complete darkness.
darkness. Seeing fish and turtles in the crystal blue water made the experience even more memorable. Our guide brought us to a local lunch spot and we had the best food. I got some delicious empanadas and Sarah was able to get some awesome gluten-free tacos. After lunch, we made our way to the open top cenote where we jumped into the refreshing water. Don't let the video fool you though, it was a lot higher than it looked. After finishing up our day, our guide dropped us right off at our Airbnb door. If a private tour is not for you, there are a ton of small or large group options that we saw. We just wanted the full experience and knowledge of a private guide. Definitely stop by a cenote or three if you're coming to Cancun and Playa del Carmen. And that's a wrap. Hopefully this helps plan your next trip to the Yucatan Peninsula.